So we have a couple samples here. And uh, I pulled these out of a uh, mine dump. And I just wanted to show them. So this doesn't look like much. This is a very dense rock here. And it may look like rock, but this is actually um, basically a, a solid hunk of mineralization. Uh, this is very fine grain, a mix of uh, baritic ore. It's got sphalerite in it, some uh, galena, a little bit of chalcopyrite, a little bit of pyrite. And uh, if you can see up close, you can see just how sparkly it is. The main sulfide in this is going to be sphalerite. Uh, samples like this would go for about 20 to 25 percent zinc and maybe three four percent copper you can see some of the calcopyrite in there you're also going to get a decent amount of gold and silver in this And here's another hunk of it here, and it kind of shows you the two kinds of ore here. You can see your baritic ore and the transition to quartz calcopyrite. Calcopyrite is what holds the highest gold values here. Wouldn't be surprised if you got at least 10 grams of gold. Silver is going to run a couple hundred grams per ton, but could be up to three, four hundred. Copper percentage of uh, this would probably be around 10% copper. If I were to send this in for an assay. Another one here. Again, doesn't look like a whole lot, but if you look up close, you can see calcopyrite and the dark gray black in the back is sphalerite, which is very fine grained. Lots of hunks like this. See the gray block in there is sphalerite. This is a mix of calcopyrite and pyrite. Probably run about four to five percent copper, maybe five, six percent zinc. Another hunk here. You got barite, calcopyrite right there, sphalerite in the background, darker stuff. There's going to be a decent lead content in this too. Some galena for sure. So I just thought I'd show a few samples from this area. Piece of advice. Don't discount waste piles because often the waste piles back 100, 150 years ago are not considered waste today. Hope you enjoyed the short little video. We'll see you next time, guys.